In the infinite expanse of the night sky, there's a star that has captured the attention of scientists and stargazers alike beetle jurors. It's a colossal star, hundreds of times larger than our sun, and it's showing signs of something extraordinary about to happen. Scientists have been closely observing the mysterious dimming of beetle jurors, and they believe it might explode in a spectacular event that will light up the sky across all nearby galaxies. This cosmic event, known as a supernova, could be an awe-inspiring sight visible even during the day. Are we about to see something new in space that will change how we see the universe forever? Join us as we explore how the Betelgeuse explosion will take over the night sky all around the world. Betelgeuse, a prominent star in the constellation Orion, shines brightly in our night sky. Positioned about 650 light years away from Earth, this distance translates to approximately 6 quadrillion 150 trillion and 650 billion kilometers. Just to give you an idea, a quadrillion has 15 zeros. It is categorized as a red supergiant, belonging to one of the universe's largest and most massive types of stars. Its immense size dwarfs our sun, making it a stellar giant of unmatched proportions. Dietlger's peculiar behavior and unique traits have captivated astronomers and stargazers for centuries leading to numerous observations and studies that continue to mystify and inspire. Scientists believe it might explode in a spectacular event that will light up the sky across the world. Considering the vast distance, when we observe Betelgeuse, we are essentially looking back in time due to the finite speed of light. Despite light's incredible speed of about 300 million meters per second, it takes a considerable amount of time to travel through space. In Betelgeuse's case, the light reaching us today started its journey over six centuries ago. This makes for a fascinating puzzle, because the things we see happening in the night sky actually occurred many centuries ago. The light we currently perceive from Betelgeuse embarked on its journey toward Earth during the time of the Renaissance era. With each observation of Betelgeuse, we are essentially exploring a cosmic time capsule, allowing us to uncover the story of a star from centuries ago. The stage is set, and Betelgeuse is firmly in the cosmic spotlight. But wait for the most interesting part Betelgeuse's sudden dimming caused a stir among observatories worldwide. This intriguing event took place from October 2019 to early 2020, posing a puzzling mystery that had astrophysicists and skywatchers searching for explanations. Those who observed the night sky could see the difference. This unexpected transformation raised fascinating questions about the star's current condition and its fate in the universe. The main question on astronomers' minds was whether this dimming signaled the expected supernova explosion that had long been anticipated for Betelgeuse. Red supergiants like Betelgeuse are famous for changing how bright they appear. Scientists think this change is just a normal part of their existence, but something really big happened when Betelgeuse got dimmer than usual. People in the science world heard about Betelgeuse losing its brightness mysteriously, which got scientists thinking up different ideas. Some suggested that a huge flow of gas and dust from the star's surface caused this dimming. They pictured the star going through a lot, throwing off its outer parts in a massive cosmic event. Others thought there might be a very cold area on Betelgeuse's surface, imagining a spot where temperatures dropped significantly making the star appear less bright. While all this was going on, a group of scientists from different places, led by Kenichi Nomoto at the Kev Institute, started investigating. They found something amazing Betelgeuse might be smaller and closer to Earth than initially thought. They also suggested that a cloud of dust might have caused the dimming, proving that the universe has more surprises than anyone could have guessed. At the same time, Astronomers led by Hideyuki Sayo at Tohoku University in Japan introduced a new way of looking at Betelgeuse steady pulsations. This star seems to have a heartbeat, growing bigger and smaller over time, changing how bright it appears. Its brightness follows a pattern every 420 days due to its outer layers expanding and contracting. As the big cosmic show of Betelgeuse unfolded and its brightness returned to normal, it left space experts and skywatchers scratching their heads. Instead of providing clear answers, it only deepened the mystery of what lies ahead for this incredible star. It raised more questions about what might happen to this amazing star. During this time, beetle jars got a bit cooler, and scientists found something similar to sunspots on our sun. These star spots on beetle jars might have caused the temperature to drop. They are chilly areas on the star's surface that do some strange things to how much light it gives off, just like how sunspots affect our sun. These colder spots on beetle jars and its magnetic field could mess things up. 
Changes in beetle jar's magnetic field, caused by these star spots, might have blocked some of the radiation coming from the star's core. That's probably why the temperature went down when it was dimming. These discoveries about beetle jurors aren't just about that one star they give us a big understanding of red giants, which are these super huge stars known for making a lot of stuff in the universe. Stars like beetle jurors are like giant factories where elements heavier than helium get created. Astronomers call these heavier elements metals, and how they form in red giants is a really important process. It's a big deal because this process shapes how everything in the universe is made up chemically. Understanding how star spots affect temperature changes and block radiation helps astronomers get a deeper understanding of what's going on inside red giants. When beetle jurors got dimmer and cooler, it made astronomers share lots of ideas and theories about what might be happening there. And get ready because there's a big discovery that's about to shake up everything we thought we knew about this massive red star. But for now, Let's focus on what this dimming might mean for our understanding of the cosmos. You see, when a star gets dimmer, it could be a normal part of its life cycle, and there are many reasons why this might happen. But then, there's the big event called a supernova, which is like a star's grand finale when it's supermassive. Interestingly, there's a link between dimming events and the possibility of a star going supernova. Many stars that eventually explode as supernovae first go through a phase where they become red supergiants. During this time, they might flicker or dim temporarily because of some complicated processes happening in the outer layers of the star, like pulsations and changes in convection. Some smart astronomers have been keeping an eye on red supergiants, thinking that if a massive star is about to go supernova, it might start acting a bit weird. The predicting this is hard, and not every time a red supergiant dims does it mean a supernova is coming. Sometimes, a star's dimming is just part of its natural ups and downs. And for beetle jurors, we're not completely sure yet if that's what's going on. Finding signs of an upcoming supernova is tough and uncertain. But let's just imagine for a moment what if beetle jurors dimming was because it was about to go supernova. Could a star bounce back from the edge of a supernova? Well, sorry to say, but the answer is no. Once a big star reaches the point where it's almost ready to explode in a supernova, it has pretty much used up all its nuclear fuel and gone through major changes in its core. These changes make a supernova unavoidable, and there's no known natural process that can turn things around. A massive star starts its life as a main sequence star, where nuclear fusion in its core turns hydrogen into helium, giving the star energy to resist collapsing under gravity. As the core runs out of hydrogen, it squeezes and heats up, causing helium to fuse into heavier elements like carbon, oxygen, and more. This process keeps going until iron forms in the core. And when iron shows up, it's like a cosmic red flag a supernova is on the way. Once a star gets to this point, there's no reversing it. Iron is quite different from other elements because it can't produce energy through nuclear fusion like the rest. Instead, the iron core keeps getting smaller and gathering more material. When this iron core hits a critical point, called the Chandrasekhar limit, it can't hold up against its own gravity anymore. So, the core collapses fast, causing a massive explosion of supernova. This explosion is unbelievably powerful, shining brighter than entire galaxies for a short while. It's so intense that it destroys the star completely, leaving behind something dense like a neutron star. Or if the star is supermassive, a black hole. Once a star gets to the point where it's making an iron core, there's no turning back. The supernova is on its way no doubt about it. So, if any dimming stops or reverses, it's because it wasn't connected to a supernova. With that in mind, let's dig into a more sensible explanation for what might have happened. Among the many theories trying to explain Betelgeuse's great dimming, the latest findings provide a more sensible and simpler explanation. A team from France's Universide Kate Desur observed Betelgeuse intensely from December 2018 to December 2020 using the powerful Matisse instrument on the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope Interferometer in Chile. 